guys so in this video I wanted to share with you how I blend colors together but I'm going to start with a very light pencil sketch of a feather it's just to give me a general idea on the shape and where the middle section is going to be so it doesn't have to be perfect I'm going to use different paints this time uh, by Sennelier. I only have primary colors, so I am creating my own shades of green by mixing blue with yellow. I will be adding more or less of each depending on what shade I want to achieve. The first color was peach tallow blue, then yellow lake, Chinese orange, uh, the last one was Sennelier yellow light. And now I'm going to start mixing them together. So the blue one with the yellow will create green. I'm adding a little bit more of the blue. It just depends what shade of green you want to achieve. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of um, yellow lake. A sample of another blue color which I'm going to use as well and I am going to mix it with Sennelier yellow light to achieve another shade of green uh, more of an aqua green I need a darker color for the middle part of the feather so I'm going to use Holbein's neutral tint so right now I am going to pre-wet the entire feather I am using a round brush 3. I will be adding paint to the wet paper so this will be wet on wet and you will see me blending colors as I go just by adding different shades of greens, blues and, and yellows and let it all mix blend together. I am using a round brush 0 and first color yellow lake. I am starting from the bottom because that's where I want the feather to have the lightest colors. Um, and then I, in a second I am going to add the aqua blue color that I have created by mixing Sennelier yellow light with the lighter blue color. So this is it, the, my aqua blue color that I have created. Uh, because I pre-wetted the paper it's easier to spread the paint. I am sort of dragging my brush to the sides and it helps a lot to work uh, with a small round thin brush. Now I am going for the darker blues, but also adding neutral tint. I need to create a contrast between the colors, so I need lighter colors and darker colors to make it just look more real. This is a rigor brush. It's long and thin and it's really easy to create these long thin strokes. 
I pretty much use it all the time when I paint animals or flowers. I am keeping my blue colors separate from yellow-brown colors. So whenever I have lighter blue, I want to create a contrast. So to do that, I will add darker shades of blues plus my neutral tint. I am using a very small amount of water right now. Uh, I want to create a line in the middle and I don't want my paint to bleed uh, mixed with the other colors. So a very small amount of water in the paint and sort of like dragging my brush um, through the feather.